Well, at least the Haunted Mansion's kind of fun. <laughs> So this new version of the Haunted Mansion, there's really not that much to it. It's a haunted mansion and people try to solve it and try to make it not haunted and shit hits the fan and there's a whole thing and eventually they kind of like solve it sort of, but it's there's really not much to it. But that's not to say the movie's not fun because it is fun. Uh, there were a few times I actually did laugh and these days, it's kind of hard to make me laugh because my humor is, I don't know, at times it's dark. At, at other times, you know, I love fucking toilet humor like Beavis and Butthead. So my humor is kind of all over the place. But <laughs> I did laugh a few times. And there were plenty of kids in the theaters. The kids absolutely loved it. So this is definitely a movie to bring to the kids. Or, well, bring the kids to. Because you can't really bring it to the kids because it's in the theater. This new version has an all-star cast. It's got Rosario Dawson, the legendary Danny DeVito, Lakeith Stanfield, I think is how you say his name, uh, Tiffany Haddish, uh, some kid, I don't know the kid's name, Jamie Lee Curtis is in this, Jared Leto plays like the main evil ghost, and he is fantastic. I mean, the man can act. He has shown that. It's just he sometimes picks terrible roles like Suicide Squad and and Morbius. But he is amazing in this as an overall pretty small part, but he is fantastic. Everybody in this is overall very good. I think Danny DeVito is the overall standout because he's Danny fucking DeVito. That man knows, he's been around long enough. He knows when he can ham it up and when it's appropriate. It was definitely appropriate to ham it up here and he killed it. Tiffany Haddish, too. I thought she was great. Uh, I'm not really a Tiffany Haddish fan. I was never really a fan from the beginning when she started showing up. But I liked her in this. Like, this is a role that fit her. And I just love Rosario Dawson. So I, I'll never have a bad thing to say about her. So, I mean, it, it's a fun movie. It's not a great movie. It's, it's pretty paint by numbers. It's not scary. It has some moments of humor, it, but it's not super, super funny. But again, it's something kids are going to absolutely love. Kids are going to find it absolutely hysterical. You know, it's not necessarily made for people my age. It's made, it's a Disney movie, so it's made for kids and families. One thing I really did like, though, was like the nostalgia kind of behind it. Because when, when I was a kid, like me and my family, we went to Disney a lot. Practically every summer. Uh, my mom was a big Disney fan. And me, to a certain degree... I like Disney. I don't necessarily want to go now as an adult. Maybe Galaxy's Edge. I've been once. It's fucking awesome. But at, at my age, I, I'm, I'm kind of done with Disney. There's, too, there's so many people. Like, so many people. I, I don't want to be around that many people. But anyway, the Haunted Mansion was something always did. Absolutely always, always, always did. It was a must do. And there's quite a few replicated scenes that we see in the ride and in the movie. Like, we got the dance in the hall and the organ player, the three hitchhiking ghosts, uh, uh, the person in the crystal ball, which in, this, which in the movie uh, they named her Madame Leota, and it's played by Jamie Lee Curtis. She, too, took full advantage of being able to hand it up, and she's great. So, yeah, the overall nostalgia factor of it all, it's fun. It Even for someone who doesn't really like going to Disney nowadays, it's still fun. It brings back memories of fun times at Disney as a kid. Ultimately, is The Haunted Mansion a fantastic movie? It is not. Absolutely not. But it's fun. It really is fun. Uh, again, it's something great for the kids. Uh, everybody involved, I think, does well with the material that they're given. And it's definitely 100% better than the Eddie Murphy version in, like, the early 2000s, I think. It, it, it came out after the first uh, Pirates of the Caribbean when Disney was like, Oh, our rides can make more money! It, it was nowhere near as good as Pirates of the Caribbean. So it was, it was a for me, it was a massive failure. This movie is a lot better than the Eddie Murphy version. I give The Haunted Mansion 2023 
Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a solid C. Did you enjoy the review? Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get notified when more reviews go live. Feel free to leave a comment to discuss your thoughts on the movie or show, and I will see you next time.